tilt shift effects in camera or in post. Have you ever played with a tilt shift lens? It's pretty cool because you can move it in funky ways that wind up changing the way light goes through it. There are obviously two main ways to move the lens, tilt and shift, duh, and each is used for different reasons. If you look up at a tall building and shoot it with a normal wide angle lens, you're gonna see converging lines, just like if you were looking at train tracks going off into the distance. That's called keystoning, and architectural photographers usually want those lines to be straight, so they'll shift the lens to magically make those lines run parallel to each other. Another thing you can do is try this cool trick. If you want to photograph a mirror and you're seeing yourself in the reflection, you can move a few feet to the left or right and then shift the lens to get the same perspective without seeing the camera. It's pretty cool. One more use for the shift function is to shoot multiple overlapping photos and then stitch them together to give you a high resolution image with absolutely no distortion. Now the tilt part of a tilt shift lens can be used to make everything look like it's a miniature. You can give yourself more or less depth of field by rotating the lens in different directions. It takes some practice, but you can get some cool results. Now, can you do all this in post-processing? Well, converging lines can be corrected in post for sure, but when you do it, it'll crop the image and you're gonna lose some of your field of view. And since you're cutting out pixels, you're also losing some resolution. The miniature tilt function can be replicated in the computer or even on your phone these days, but it's kind of fun to get it right in camera, and I prefer to do that whenever possible. So what's my verdict? Well, if you rarely need one of these effects or corrections, then save your money and just do it in post. But if you're a serious photographer who will regularly need the looks that a tilt shift lens will give you, or if you want to do a multi-shot panorama without any distortion, then just bite the bullet and pick one up. You absolutely won't regret it. So I've got more fun effects coming up next week. Subscribe to the Adorama TV YouTube channel and get all my two minute tip videos. Follow me on social media at David Bergman and see what I've been up to between episodes and get info on my live photo workshops. See you then.